Greetings, unsettled souls. Sam I.B. began you doing political commentary for the media speaks. You might know me from Wits News. You might know me from Blasting News. Hey, I've got some good news, uh, speaking of Wits News and the media speaks. Um, today's broadcast is going to be, once we get into it, uh, just a little bit political. Because, you know, we are normally a political commentary show here. Um, regular viewers know that on the 12 days of Christmas, I do like to break it up. We've covered everything from the best used laptop to buy someone if you don't have a lot of money, to Christmas songs being banned, to the most moving email that some people have ever heard. So now we're going to, um, uh, tomorrow I'm going, I've been blessed with a ticket to the Christmas Carol put on at the Canton Players Guild. It is... Uh, Five-star performance. It's going to be amazing. I'm covering it for the Media Speaks, and it is also going to be published in uh, Wits News. But that's going to be done in a slightly different way. Um, that's going to be uh, the the Media Speaks, the live broadcast I'm doing tomorrow, will be a review of the play. And then how the play ties into our, our current experience here in America and the world um, for instance, is Scrooge a call to socialism? We take a look at that in the article that I'm going to do about it. So there's a lot going on with that. I'm very excited. Also, yours truly is now the Tuesday DJ at Buzzbin doing underground, uh, old school alternative, uh, some do some new dubstep uh, stuff as well, underground alternative dance night. Yes, that means everything that's not Drake, Rihanna, or in other words, sucks. So make sure you're out there at Buzzbin. On Tuesdays, that would be wonderful. Hello, Cindy. And we're going to get into the topic for today. Uh, you can find a million different takes on this, but pretty much it all says the same thing. The economy is dying. Uh, this one is zero hedge. I'm not going to read the whole thing because every time you read economic stats, you can just sort of see your you click off gone. So if you want the specifics, make sure that you go to Zero Hedge and read the article. In a nutshell, I'm getting two camps, and you're going to be shocked to hear me say this. They are both somewhat right. Um, the first camp says that this would have happened whether or not Donald Trump was in office or not. That this this problem with the economy that we're seeing on the horizon is not a fault of Donald Trump so much as it is a fault of the system. That is correct. And you can prove this by eliminating Trump from the timeline and going back over uh, history. It's very clear to see that there have been ebbs and flows. Every seven to ten years, there's been an economic downturn, a depression, or whatever you want to call it. Now, they haven't always been as bad as they were in 2008. That was under Obama. Or the Great Depression. But they've been severe. Um, look at the state of the 80s when Ronald Reagan uh, annihilated his opposition and Mondale and all of that that had led to the problem that was experiencing at the time, you can see that you know, this has been an ongoing thing. Where is Trump's fault in this? Trump's fault in this is he has neglected the importance of sound money. Donald Trump's done a lot for the country, particularly within the flawed system that we have adopted in this country. But it's important to realize, friends, and a lot of people have heard this, but I don't think it's truly in their heads. The dollar in your pocket, if you're lucky enough to have one, is backed by nothing. It's backed by nothing. As far, I don't do this, but as far as what it's worth, if you print, I'm pointing to where my printer used to be before it died. If you print something, and call it money. What's it backed by? Nothing. Well, what do you think the dollar in your pocket that the government calls regular money, what do you think it's backed by? It's not backed by anything because the United States was taken off of the gold standard. 
And a lot of people are like, well, it doesn't matter because it's been doing fine. I have dollars in my pocket. I can go to the store. This is what you're not getting. The only reason that whole system is still working is because a lot of nations were buying dollars. A lot of nations are doing better today in forming alliances and groups that do not involve the United States of America. And that's their right to do so. I don't have a problem with it, but clearly Mr. Obama did, because that's one of the main reasons they killed Gaddafi. He was going to uh, set up his own currency, separate from anything tied to the United States or the U.S. dollar. The United States is going to continue having these problems, regardless of who is in office. We're seeing problems in a retail month, which is not good. Normally, if we haven't crashed in October, we're good until after the year. Again, just looking at simple history here. The 2009 bull market trend was either broken or is on the verge of breaking on many indices. The uh, SPX on Friday closed the week at 13% uh, below the Wall Street's 2018 consensus forecast. Um, again, that's a, a zero hedge. The name of it is a Fed rally. Can jolly old Jerome save Christmas? There's only one thing that's going to save the economy long term, and that is getting the United States back on the gold standard to where money is backed by something. What's that going to do? For one thing, it would make it very difficult for nations to form these alliances against the U.S. dollar if the U.S. dollar was backed by gold. That's first and foremost. Um, second of all, the fact that things are going up in price a little bit over the trade war with China isn't necessarily a bad thing because it is going to force people in America to make things in America once again. That will be good long term. So I'm not worried about Trump there so much. I'm concerned with the fact that the money isn't backed by anything. And for all the good he's done, he has not addressed this issue. And because he hasn't, I think there's a very good chance that he will face the same pitfalls that many other presidents have who have refused to look at this. Now, has he done a good job with the economy? Yes. But that's like saying you did a good job making a pizza when you really didn't have any garlic, you didn't have any basil, you, you, you were a little low on yeast for the bread, you, you made it, it was good, but you didn't have what you needed to really make America great again, or in that instance, make your pizza great again. And that's going to be the case. We're going to keep getting subpar economies comparable to subpar pizzas if we do not get on the gold standard. See you tomorrow, friends. We'll be talking about Scrooge. Please remember you can donate at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. Uh, Miss Riccardi, who I want to give a shout out to the ASPCA. Miss um, Riccardi who has uh, d paid for the last two dunce caps with her donation. Cost, it cost a mail amount. I just mailed off the last, uh, the neck of the last one yesterday. So <coughs> please donate if you can and uh, donate to the ASPCA too. Remember, they do wonderful things for animals and it's a great alternative to supporting the paint throwers at PETA. See you friends. Good night. God bless.